recently we talked about how some people like to have Bible verses tattooed on them. And we, sometimes you also see people who have them like on, on hangings or on pillows to have a Bible verse. And today we're going to look at a verse that I'm sure is pretty good for putting on a pillow or a tattoo. And then we're going to look at one right after it that may not be as popular, but is just as important. And the first one, the tattoo verse, is Psalm 32, verse 8. It says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. God is just out there, and he is guiding us and loving us and directing us. And that's just so sweet and special. And, and there's, there's, a, there's a catch. And the catch is that once you commit your life to Christ, God says he is going to carry out the work he began in you. That that's not an iffy thing. He's going to pull it off. Which is why he has to have the next verse. After he's going to counsel me with my, his loving eye, he comes back in verse 9 with, Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by bit and bridle, or they will not come to you. See, what he's saying is, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. God says, you can move in the direction I want you to move. You can become the person I want you to become as you just follow my gentle leading. Or I can get out the bridle and I can get out the whip and I can drive you where you need to go. And here's the weird thing about me. It's probably not true about you, but about me is sometimes I choose the bridle. I choose the hard lesson. I choose to say, God, you're going to have to make me do that. Maybe, maybe. I should spend more time trying to focus on letting God guide me with his loving eye instead of making him guide me with his bridle. And that's today's jump start.